Hey loves, what's up? It's Caddy, and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Glam by Caddy. If you are new here, welcome. I upload a new video every Sunday. Now, as you guys can tell from the title of this week's video, we are finally going to be talking about some of my favorite dupes. And just in case you didn't know what a dupe was already, it's basically saying that two products are very, very similar, like they were designed to perform and do the same things. Usually the dupe is definitely like way more affordable. So this video will also help you save so much money. So if you guys like makeup and if you're looking to save some money because we all know that makeup is very expensive, then just keep watching. All of the products that you're going to get into this video, I have already tried the high-end products and the dupes. And honestly, the dupes, they perform exactly the same as the high-end products, if not better. All of these products will be listed up on the screen so you guys can see exactly what they look like and also the price. First product you're going to get into is moisturizer. And for the high-end moisturizer, we have the Tatcha Water Cream. And if you guys haven't tried this product already, it is $68. So it is quite an investment, but we have a dupe for it. The Revolution Beauty Hydra Boost Gel Cream, and this is only $10, guys. So would you rather spend $68 or $10 just for a moisturizer? And they honestly perform like the consistency and everything is about the same. So this is a really good dupe for the Tatcha Water Cream. Now moving on to primer. And you guys know that primer is definitely a necessary step where you apply your foundation. It just helps it last better and stay on your base. So primer is definitely something that you need in your makeup routine if you don't wear it already. And my OG favorite used to be the Benefit Professional, and it's $32. I have actually stopped using the Benefit Professional as soon as I found out about the dupe. And the dupe for that is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This has become my like holy grail primer that I use every single day. Putty performs the exact same as the Benefit Professional. It's basically a pore filling primer and I love that because I, let's be honest, I have humongous pores. So this is my favorite primer and it's only $9. Now let's get into foundation. And for the high-end version, we have the Too Faced Born This Way. Now that is an OG foundation and I would use it all the time until I found the dupe for it. And that guy runs $40. Now my foundation is only $9. And I use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. So I am definitely saving a lot of money there. These foundations are very, very similar. They perform the same and they just both have like a natural finish that looks exactly like your skin. And I use the shade natural just in case you guys are wondering. Now we're gonna talk about CC creams because not a lot of you guys necessarily wear or need that much foundation. So you guys are just blessed with pretty good skin and I am not one of those people. You guys know without any foundation, I am super, super red. For the high end, we have the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. And this thing is actually pretty expensive for a CC cream. It's almost $40. Now I know not everybody wants to spend almost $40 for a CC cream because I don't either. So the dupe for that is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. And the CC cream performs just as good, if not better than the IT Cosmetics one, and it's only $14. Now let's get into concealer. And the high-end product that we have is the Tarte Shape Tape. And I know that everybody has probably freaking tried it already. It's a really good product, and honestly, that's what I was using until I found the dupe for it. But the Tarte Shape Tape is $29. And the dupe for that is the ELF 16 Hour Camo Concealer, and it's only $6, guys. ELF 16 Hour Camo has become my holy grail concealer that I use every single day. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background. I'm sorry if you can. Somebody is weed eating their lawn. That's what it sounds like. So, so yeah, gotta love background noise. Now let's talk about setting powders. And you guys know that I use setting powders on a daily basis because my skin is a very freaking oily. So I have to set my face. And the high end we're gonna get into is the Laura Mercier. And that is the OG freaking setting powder that everybody and their mama probably uses but it is $39. It gets better. I actually have two dupes for the setting powder. And the first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder and it's only $8. So definitely way more affordable. And they honestly perform the same. Like whenever I use the Maybelline Fit Me, it keeps my face set all day just like the Laura Mercier one does. 
Next dupe is the Airspun Loose Powder. And this only runs for $6, so it is definitely affordable. And it does keep my face set all day. You guys have heard me talk about the setting powder before. I do use it pretty regularly. It's one of my OG favorites. The only thing about this powder is it does have a certain like distinct scent to it. It honestly smells like old lady, but not in a bad way. Like it actually smells really good. It just reminds me of like a grandmother or something. Now we're gonna talk about contour palettes. And I pretty much contour my face every day. I just love the definition that it adds and like how it shapes your face. So the high-end product is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And it retails for $50. Do love that the pans are interchangeable. So whenever you're running low on something or you hit pan, you can just buy like the refill little things for it. So that part is really good, but there is a dupe that is way cheaper. And the dupe is the Pro Fusion Pro Contour Palette. And you guys, this thing is only $8 and it does the same thing that the KVD palette is meant to do. It contours your face. So I would definitely rather spend $8 compared to $50. Let's get into bronzer. And the high-end one you guys probably already knew I was gonna say this is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is one of the OG bronzers and I definitely used to be hooked on it before I found the dupe but that retails for $30. And the dupe is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the shade Dulce de Leche. And I personally love this contour palette. It works just as good, if not better, than the Hula Bronzer. It is very creamy and pigmented and it has become my favorite bronzer. And it's only $4. Now we're gonna get into blush. And I actually have two different options and dupes for you guys, but first we're gonna get into the pinks and then we'll talk about some peach blushes. Now for a pink blush, I know one of everybody's favorite blushes is the NARS Orgasm, but she runs for $30. Dupe is the ELF Studio Blush in the shade Twinkle Pink, and it's only $4, guys. So that is definitely way better than $30. Now let's get into the peach blush. For the high-end peach blush, we have the Too Faced Pop It Out Peach. And Too Faced, I give them props on their names. They're always so freaking cute, but again, $30. And the dupe for that peach blush is one of my ultimate favorite blushes ever. That is the Milani Luminoso, and she's only $7. All right, now let's talk about brows. And first we'll get into the pomades, and then I will get into the pencils right after that. But for the high-end pomade, we have the ABH Dip Brow. That is probably like everybody's go-to brow pomade, but it's $21. So now the dupe for that is the e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. And it is only $4, guys, so it's definitely more affordable. And it's honestly what I use on my brows every day. I personally love pomades more than pencils. And it performs just the same as the ABH one, but you're definitely saving yourself some money. And I use the shade Espresso, just in case you guys were wondering. Now let's get into eyebrow pencils. And for the high end, we have the ABH Brow Wiz, and she runs for $23. And the dupe for that is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, and she is only $8. It's just so like creamy and smooth, and it's so precise. Let's talk about mascara. And for the high end, we have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. That is probably one of everybody's like OG favorites, but she's $27. The dupe for that mascara is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and she's only $9. And the packaging on these two mascaras are very freaking similar. They're both that beautiful light pink and they definitely perform like exactly the same in my opinion. I wanted to at least talk about one eyeshadow dupe with you guys, like a palette. So for high ends, we have the ABH Modern Renaissance palette and she is $45. And the dupe for that would be the Wet n Wild Color Icon palette. And the shade name of the palette is Rose in the Air and it's only $6. So these two palettes are very similar in the shades and the Wet n Wild one is actually pretty pigmented. Let's get into eyeliner. And for the liquid eyeliner, the high-end one would have to be the KVD Tattoo Liner and Trooper. It's just a very black eyeliner with a precise tip, but it's $21. And the dupe for that is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And I just used the black one. I honestly don't know if it has like a shade name or anything. Um, it's probably just black, but it is $9. And I used to use the KVD one until I found this dupe. 
but now honestly whenever I do wear eyeliner it has to be the NYX one and you guys know my eyes are super sensitive this eyeliner does not irritate them at all now let's talk about highlight and you guys know I love like a freaking intense blending highlight I am there for it so the high-end one is the Becca champagne pop but she runs for $38. And the dupe is the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold, and it's only $8, guys. And the intensity is there, and it's a really, really good highlighter. I highly recommend it. Last, let's talk about lips. And you guys know I love a good liquid lipstick. I just love my lipstick to stay on even through eating and just everything. Nobody wants lipstick in their teeth. That is not cute. So the first liquid lipstick option is a nude and the high end is the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin and it is $18. Now I personally love Jeffree's lipsticks, they just stay on through anything but they can be a little bit drying and the dupe for that exact shade is the Milani Matte Satin Lip Cream in the shade 01 Lavish and they're only $9 so you can basically buy two of the Milani ones for one of the Jeffree ones and Lavish is like the perfect shade for his celebrity skin. And it is a matte satin lip cream, so it's not as drying either. Now for the red liquid lipsticks, the high end is the Fenty Uncensored, but she's $25. The red liquid lipstick dupe would have to be the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Heroin. And these are only $8, so very affordable. And these liquid lipsticks are freaking amazing. Like they don't budge through anything. I even have to scrub whenever I'm using my makeup remover to take it off because they last through eating and everything and it just doesn't want to move. But once they dry down, it's very comfortable. Now the last lipstick we're going to talk about and the last product for this video is an actual lipstick. And the high end version would have to be the MAC, uh, I believe the shade is called Mer, M-E-H-R. So I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, probably not. But anyways, their lipsticks are $19. The dupe for that would have to be the NYX lipstick in the shade Whipped Caviar, and their lipsticks are only $6, so definitely more affordable. So that completes all the dupes I have for this video. I really hope you guys found it helpful and it saved you some money also. Go ahead and drop a comment down below if you guys have tried these products or if you guys have any dupes or want more of these dupe type videos, y'all just let me know. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and also drop another comment down below on what other lip challenger video you guys wanna see next, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.